important essay question from theory of equations. So solve the equation x power 4 minus 4x squared plus 8x plus 35 is equal to 0. Given that 2 plus i root 3 is 1 root. So solving of equation. Since this is the equation of the power 4, it has 4 roots values. Now we have to find those 4 roots values. So first I take the given equation here. Given equation is, what is the equation here? x power 4 minus 4x squared plus 8x plus 35 is equal to 0. And what is the given data? Given that 1 root is equal to 2 plus i root 3. So given that 1 root is 2 plus i root 3. So 1 root is 2 plus i root 3 means we take the second root is equal to 2 minus i root 3. Which implies the second root is equal to 1 root is given then second root is taken as 2 minus i root 3. Its conjugate is also the root of this equation 2 minus i root 3. Now I take that these two values is equals to alpha comma beta. So alpha is equal to 2 plus i root 3 and beta is equal to 2 minus i root 3. Now what are the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta? Therefore alpha plus beta is equals to 2 plus i root 3 plus 2 minus i root 3. That is equals to 4 and alpha into beta is equals to 2 plus i root 3 into 2 minus i root 3 which is in the form of a plus b into a minus b that is 4 minus 3 i square but i square is equal to minus 1 minus of minus plus that is 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 therefore the quadratic equation is now we are forming the quadratic equation with these two roots values now what is the formula x square minus 6 into alpha plus beta plus alpha beta is equal to 0. Now substituting the values. Therefore the equation is x square minus 6 into alpha plus beta value 4 plus alpha beta value is equal to 7. So x square minus 4x plus 7 equal to 0. Now to get the remaining two roots values just we take the Horner division with this equation that is Horner division. Now I take the Horner division here. So first we write the quotient's values. What are the quotients of the given equation? It's for 1. After that there is no x cube term that is 0, minus 4, 8, 35. Taking the quotients here. Taking the quotients here, x power 4 quotient is equal to 1. There is no x cube term that is 0, minus 4, 8, 35. x power 4, x cube, x square, x constant. Now taking the Horner division. Now we do the Horner division with this, with this equation. So what is the first value here? Minus 4. Now we take plus 4. Just changing the sign of the type. And here what we have? plus 7 but we take minus 7 just to change the signs of these two terms. Now here we take the zeros in a triangle form and okay listen 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equals to 1 1 into 4 is equals to 4 0 plus 4 plus 0 is equal to 4 4 into 4 is equal to 16 1 into minus 7 is equal to minus 7 so 16 minus 11 is equals to 5 5 into 4 is equals to 20. 4 into minus 7 is equals to minus 28. Now 28 minus 28 is equal to 0. 0 into 4 is equal to 0. 5 into minus 7 is equal to minus 35. So this is equal to 0. Therefore the equation is. So the equation is. X square plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. So this is the equation. Now finding the roots to this equation to get the remaining two roots values. But there is no factors to this equation. So applying the formula. What is the formula? x is equal to minus p plus r minus square root of p square minus 4ac by 2a. Now substituting the values. What are a, b, c? a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 5. Now replacing the values minus 4 plus r minus square root of b square 16 minus 4 ac 4 into 1 into 5 by 2 into 1 and this is equals to minus 4 plus r minus 16 minus 20 
16 minus 20 is equal to minus 4. So this is equals to minus 4 plus or minus 2i. 4 is equal to root 4 is equal to 2 root minus 1 is equals to i by 2. Now taking 2 common here minus 2 plus or minus i by 2 that is equals to minus 2 plus or minus i. Therefore the roots are the roots of the given equation are first root is equals to 2 plus i root 3 which is the given root and second one 2 minus i root 3 which is the conjugate of the given root. And the last two values are minus 2 plus or minus i. That's all. These are the roots of the equation. The most important is equation. Next problem. Solve the equation x power 4 plus 2x square minus 16x plus 77 is equal to 0. Given that minus 2 plus root minus 7 is one root of the equation. So same processor. First I take the given equation here. Given equation is x power 4 plus 2x square minus 16 x plus 77 equal to 0 and given that 1 root is equals to given that 1 root is minus 2 plus root minus 7 so this is equals to minus 2 plus i root 7 root minus 7 value is equals to minus 2 plus i root 7 now what is the other root value therefore the other root is just we take the conjugate of this value that is minus 2 minus i root 7 conjugate of this value minus 2 minus i root 7 so we take that these two values are alpha comma beta so alpha is equals to minus 2 plus i root 7 and beta is equals to minus 2 minus i root 7 now alpha plus beta to form the quadratic equation first i take the values alpha plus beta and alpha beta what is alpha plus beta minus 4 and what is alpha into beta minus 2 plus i root 7 into minus 2 minus i root 7 that is minus 2 whole square minus i root 7 whole square a square minus b square that is 4 minus 7 i square but i square is equal to minus 1 so 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 now doing the whole addition here so quotient values are 102 minus 1677. Now taking the whole addition with minus 4 minus 11. This is plus 4 so I take minus 4 here. This is plus 11 so I take minus 11 here. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. 1 into minus 4 minus 4. 0 minus 4 plus 0 is equal to minus 4. Minus 4 into minus 4 plus 16. 1 into minus 11 minus 11. Adding the numbers we get 7. 7 into minus 4 minus 28 minus 4 into minus 11 equal to plus 44 adding the numbers we get 0 0 into minus 4 equals to 0 and 7 into minus 11 is equal to minus 77 so these two values become 0 here therefore the equation is x square minus 4x plus 7 equal to 0 but there is no factors to this equation so we apply the formula that is x is equal to minus p plus or minus square root of p square minus 4 ac by 2 e. Now substituting the values here, what are e, b, c, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 7. So this is this becomes 16 minus 28 minus 12, root minus 12 is equal to i into root 12, that is and root 12 is equal to 2 root 3. Now taking 2 common here, then we get 2 plus or minus i root 3. Therefore the roots are minus 2 plus i root 7 which is a given value minus 2 minus i root 7 which is the conjugate of the given root and these two values are 2 plus or minus i root 3 that's all this is the answer most important is equation